diamonds are forever They are all I need to please me Hello everybody, uh, today we're going, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw fire using Copic markers and Sharpie uh, fine tip liners or pens. So, I'll show, first I'm going to show you the tools that I'm using. I'm using the um, Sharpie Ultra Fine Yellow. And I'm going to be using the Sharpie Ultra Fine Tangerine. Then I'm going to be using Y yellow, which is also the pale yellow, Y15, YR2, YR7, then we're going to be using the red 27, uh, candium red, and our colorless blender in case we need to erase. So first thing you want to do is go ahead take the sharpie and I'm simply going to draw a circular shape and give it a tail at the end like a little tap hole like so then I'm going to take my Y yellow use the brush tip and I'm just simply going to shade it in and so I'm going to I'm going to do long strokes this way for the tail and I'm going to leave in a white space we're not going to completely fill it in that way the white the lighter the fire the hotter it is So we're just going to flick like so. And then, now we're going to get our Y15 out, the candy and yellow. And you don't want to cover up all of the Y yellow. You want to cover up I, most of it. Do the exact same motions. But do not go into the white. I'm going to come out some. You do not have to stay in the... Um, circle that was just more of a guide guideline okay now we're going to take the uh, sharpie tangerine and I'm going to go on some of the edges and I'm gonna add in some orange marks let me zoom in Okay, now that I zoomed in, I'm going to make just a few strokes, like a V-shape, all flowing towards the tail. And then in the front, I'm going to add in maybe just a little bit of orange on this side. Stroke it right here. Got a little tail right here. And some right here on the top. Once you're done that, 
simply get out your light orange use the brush tip and slowly lightly go over the yellow you just want to fill in the little orange outlines like so I'm going to come over here some to give it a little more vibrance. Let's add another thing of orange right here. Okay. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go to our uh, YR7. And we're going to use it to darken the uh, lighter oranges on the edge. Put some in the middle. You don't, ha you don't have to completely outline both sides. I don't. I like the little effect that's showing that this part is a little bit cooler. Do that with the tail. Then go back to your YR02 and go over the darker color. Blend it in just a little. So it's not as, your marks aren't as sharp. Because fire, it, it it has a motion as if it's alive. You don't want it to be stiff. Let's add in just a little right here. I want to do too much. Once we do that, now we're going to go to our red 27. And you're going to be very picky on where you want to put this at. So you want to stay clear of your white source. So I'm going to put some on my tail. Right here. One line right here. And just stay away from the lightest yellow. And stay closer to the oranges. Let's add one right here on the edge of the tail. And then once we do that, go back over with your YR07 and do exactly how we did with the other oranges. And you can be a little sloppy with the fire. Just continue to do flicking motions. Just cover the reds. Blend them in. And your end result. A semi-realistic fireball only using Copic markers. And if for some reason you don't like an edge, you can just simply take uh, this part, the chisel end of your of your colors blender, and you can simply push it in to erase. Thank you for tuning in, and if you have any suggestions, you can uh, leave it here, right here at the end of the video. Thank you.